past is the past is the past. And it is not in the present, so it's not worth getting hung up. Look, we all know that. We all know that. And like the non-duality people will tell you that the past isn't real. And the, the meditation people will tell you that the past isn't real. And, in you know, they're right. They're right. It's not real. You know, what happened in the past is in the past. And it exists as a series of images. And uh, we remember what we saw. We remember what we heard. And uh, when we relive that memory, the emotional response and the physiological response that we had to the action or the events in the past is relived in the body. Um, interestingly, we can't recreate smell or taste or touch in memory. Um, or, which is a real blessing, physical pain. I mean, we can know that something damn well hurt in the past, but when we remember it, it's like I can remember being in the dentist's chair having wisdom teeth pulled out and I know that it hurt, but when I remember that, I don't relive the pain. Wonderful, beautiful, uh, insulating, um, insulating effect. Um, so yeah, it's in the past. It's not not worth getting hung up about. And yet, and yet, and yet, we do, we do. And there are some um, really important ways in which the past does exist in the present. Um, for example, uh, this pen, this pen exists as it is in my hand here in this room right now because of some actions that I took in the past, i.e. I bought it. I took the choice to uh, take the action and bought the pen and that's the only reason that it's here in this room now in my hand now. So in that way the past is present um, and there are many many examples of that, uh, that in many ways we are surrounded by uh, the evidence of our past actions in the present but it, you know and some of that's good and some of it's not good. Uh, I mean another yeah the presence of this thing here with me now is to do with decisions that I took 40 years ago when I first started smoking and that's how I got addicted to nicotine so you know good and bad good and bad um, so in that way the past does live in the present and may or may not continue to uh, live with us uh, into the future. Um, another way in which the past continues in the present is, um, for example, if you look uh, look at my hand, you look at the uh, all the lines on my hands there. Those lines, many of those lines were not there 10 years ago. Some of them weren't there fucking 10 weeks ago, 10 days ago. Um, they weren't there 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Um, but they are there now and they are evidence not so much of actions taken in the past, but they are evidence of um, the passage of time. So in that way, the past exists in the present. Um, another example of that kind of thing would be, uh, I mean, here in this in this house where we live, we have an open fireplace downstairs and uh, we might have a fire tonight. And uh, when we have that fire, we're going to be putting logs and coal onto, uh, onto that fire, keep us warm and uh, cheer us up. And uh, that will be interaction with the past because the carbon that's in those logs and the carbon that's in that coal uh, went into those materials in the past and will then be interacted with in the present. Um, and I'm talking about it now, it's actually in the future. So it is very, very fluid, all this stuff. Um, bottom line is, we only actually exist in the here and now. Right here, right now, in the present, as it unfolds moment by moment. And we never know 
what is going to happen moment by moment, breath by breath. And our life lasts as long as our next breath. <laughs> That's it. And we just don't know beyond that. We do not know from moment to moment. And I mean, the human mind is such that it can go back, it can travel back and relive to a certain extent what's in the past. And we can do that through conscious memory, but there's all sorts of unconscious memory stored back there as well. Um, that has effects in the present and we can travel forward and we can uh, project about what might happen and might not happen in the future and we can have pleasant or unpleasant emotional physiological experiences to those fantasies about the future but the only actual reality is here in the present um, and through meditation when you practice meditation every day and you follow each breath as it comes into your body and leaves your body and in and out, bit by bit by bit with practice, that's why it's called a practice, bit by bit by bit you are able to focus your attention on the breath for longer and longer periods you know at the beginning it might just be one breath and then it's two and then it's five and then it's eight and then it's twelve and then then you're you're you're, you're on it <laughs> but it takes practice but when you do that you bring your mind into the present as it unfolds moment by moment breath by breath and um it's very interesting because uh, if you stick at it, there comes a point at which you are so absolutely present that the past and the future, you, you don't even bother about thinking about them. They're just irrelevant <laughs> and meaningless. And it's like, why would I go to the effort of thinking about that? Why would I go to the effort of running these stories from the past and, and running these projected movies into the future? Why would I bother when I'm here and I'm still here and I'm here again and I'm here again? And the moments come down into smaller and smaller increments and the breath becomes lighter and lighter and more and more spaced apart and after a while you're just sitting there you're not even breathing anymore just absolutely present and um, if you practice that every day changes actual physical changes happen in how your brain is wired for the better um, you know, that kind of absolute presence is probably not going to happen straight away, but you know, you just don't know. It might, it might. Um, but I think for, for most people, it takes a bit of time. Um, and you've got to get your nut down and work for it. And, uh, that's what the non-duality people, um, hardly ever say in fact I think they don't I think they, they, they say that that's not necessary uh, and uh, I, I don't believe them I think without that without actually preparing the place in the brain for uh, the mind for the experience to blossom into non-duality or Advaita um, the uh, Sanskrit word for non-duality, a meaning not, and dvaita meaning divided or two or dual, just an absolute presence like that. Um, if you uh, practice diligently and daily, and it does have to be daily for those rewiring processes to take place, um, you will find that um, when you come back 
into your body and you get up and you go to the toilet and you go and have some breakfast or whatever and you like crack on with your um thoroughly journalistic day <laughs> um, you'll find that your projections about the future are less kind of wild in their nature uh the fantasies the wonderful fantasies of what could be if begin to reduce and the horrible fantasies of what could be if begin to reduce and also you'll find um the nature of what goes on when you remember stuff from the past changes as well and calms down and becomes more um useful i would say um but all of that to say that despite what the non-dualists say um and i've heard many of them say that the past is an illusion it it is an illusion memories are illusory in many ways and, and apart from anything else they're very very often um changed <laughs> to suit our present purposes uh, <laughs> to suit our present psychological purposes and um, in another film I'm going to talk about why it might be that uh, we would uh, live in the present with unpleasant memories from the past and what purpose that might be serving for us in the present but it's not enough and it's not accurate to simply say that the past is an illusion in some respects it is but in many many other respects it is not it is absolutely with us in the present the key thing is to um measure how we are in the present uh in terms of how the past informs the present in such a way that the past does not become a troublesome or is not a troublesome presence in the present